27 years old. I'm from Germany and I'm a competitive powerlifter for about two years now. And I think you and I, we know each other for the same, yeah, for the same time, like a little more than two years now. And I, yeah. think, I think I started coaching you pretty early, like in, I don't know, December 14 or something. Yeah, I think so. You were the first to really give me like a proper program. Yeah, uh, and it was a little suicidey, I think, uh, <laughs> because it was just volume. It was just random. Like I don't know. Uh, I tried a lot of. Uh, I, I I read a lot of, of stuff and tried to um, yeah just I don't know combine things and and then in the end it was just heavy volume without any deload or anything. And uh, I learned a lot in the past two years about programming. I wouldn't say I'm a yeah I'm an expert in powerlifting coaching, but I think I know how you work and how you uh, respond to things. And this is why I set up your training, and when this is why I offered you to uh, do your uh, make a training plan with you again. So uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I totally think you are the only one who who, have, who has ever written a program that works for me and that I felt comfortable with also because we talk a lot, you know, what works for me, like you said. And I don't know, it, it's it just I trust you and I don't trust that many people. Um, so again, uh, uh, we're going to do a, a meet in a little while, but first you have your own meet. Yes. So what are your goals for then? Yeah, it's the uh, first time for me competing in the sub-93 division. Uh, this is going to be a pretty pain in the ass for me since I'm, um, yeah, 193. And I'm used to being heavy and to compete in the 105 kilogram uh, division. So, but I don't know why, like at the beginning of the year, I told myself, I have to compete in the sub-93 division once, I have no uh -huh. idea why, and I, I've been dieting for about, uh, yeah, since the beginning of the year, so for eight months now, and my weight is steady at 93 kilos now, and now it's too late to chicken out, and uh, it's six weeks. Uh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. It's six weeks but, of di dieting. But less. maybe that's... Um First of all, I think you'll do great because you're stronger than ever at this weight. It's true. Not not just at this weight. I'm stronger than ever than I was in the 155 kilo division. Um, true, if, true. If everything. Look, look, I'm doing mobility work. Ooh, finally. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Uh, so I want to go over my squats for a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, since I asked your help specifically for squats and in the program, well, they were quite heavy. And we found out through, oh, again, the way we do and figure out things, I think, like Google a lot. And I found out it has something to do, or it could have something to do with mobility squat. Yeah. Because I have a, quite a bit of a good morning squat. You sure do. But this, <laughs> this, is, this is like the long female life. It's, it's hard to get rid of it. And I don't think you will ever get completely rid of it. No. But uh, if you you already like increased your form a lot and you keep a lot more upright and uh, though your back always your lower back always was straight, I think with a new form and this is a good example right now, uh, I think it ro looks really really good and uh, you hit depth and all and you you, you still use your posterior uh, chain. Uh, I think this is the best way, and you you use your your quads and your butt way more. So this is like uh, yeah. you just have to leave your ego aside, and uh, yeah, I think this will be fine. I think you're right about the butt. First of all, because looking at yours, you're doing something <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a peach gang member. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and um, since I squatted the way like proper like more upright and um, well the thing I did I worked on ankle mobility and I started pushing my knees out further 
Yeah. And the weights do feel a lot heavier, I must say. And and you see it at my working set, the last reps at this moment and the second one or the third working set, it definitely shows I am a lot less strong, but I think in the end I will get back to the weights. I just really have to get used to and find my own position again. Yeah. And after doing these sets I have like and my tailbone hurts for two, three days. I can't even sit properly. So I'm <laughs> definitely doing something different. Yeah, but if you if it's if it's uh, like soreness, it's, it's you you're using muscles you you haven't you have rarely <laughs> used in the, in the in the past two two years. So uh, yeah, this is a yeah. normal thing. Yeah, because there's quad form. Looking at you, are your femurs a lot different, or you just did it properly from the beginning? I think. Both. Uh, when I was, uh, we figured out that that your le legs are longer than mine. True. <laughs> so <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a little different. <laughs> yes. Structure. So uh, I'm I'm a little more well proportioned, uh, I'd say, or normally proportioned. Ah! Oh! I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> it's genetic. Okay, but it's true, but still, that's <laughs> and. Um, I don't know why my squat form is that beautiful, but it is. It simply is. It, I, I started with it like okay, everybody started at quarter squatting and and whatnot, and but once I start re really started like squatting for powerlifting meets, uh, or like like a powerlifter, um, I don't know. It it's just a natural movement for me. So. Yeah, it's true. I think. Uh, I don't know. It's, you're just a great example. I mean, your bar path is pretty straight and everything. Um, it sure really, is. Oh, here's the set where I think, by the way, I really lose my form. Here, or here I was struggling with my balance because that's pretty new for me, finding out where to position the bar, and especially in the way up. And this one was neater again, I think. Yeah, but still, it's not as good morning-ish as it, as it was. I mean, it's okay. It's... It, it is kind of half a good morning, but it, I, I I see worse on, on you, so... Yeah, yeah I, I think there is no other way for me to do it. No. To be honest. I think this will be, well, maybe if you look at my warm-up sets, it's not the weight that I can change. Yeah, drink your water, kid. <laughs> and don't put it in the bottle. Yeah, don't put carbonated stuff in this bottle. Fun fact, Johan blew up his, like yes. he and you gave me a, a, a how, how was it called, a soda maker? Soda streamer. Soda streamer. And uh, we both have the same bottle you just saw, and it's amazing for drinking enough water, but it explodes when you put carbonated water in it. Yes. Although I still do it, and it still works for me. Yes, maybe I should, so order, maybe maybe I should order, order one for my protein as well. Mm -hmm. Because the best body I had was shit. Yes, I think maybe this one is better. Did you have the metal cap too? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it, I don't know. I have this feeling it's probably exactly the same, but maybe you just had a little failure. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I did bench press after. I also switched my program, uh, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, because Friday. Hmm? We, we adjusted your program a little. And uh, I... I myself work out based on the Wendler 531 plan and um, I l really love like doing the main lifts once a week and I've been slacking on overhead press for example and uh, now I s actually started overhead press again I realized my core got, got uh, stronger, uh, my bench press got stronger so um, this is one point that I love about the program. The other point is like the mix from MRAP sets and Joker sets. Uh, some people say like don't don't use the don't use the, the Joker sets only if you like don't go ape shit on the on the on the MRAPs. But I diff uh, I I disagree. You disagree. Yeah. I disagree there. I think the MRAP sets are great. Um, and I don't really I don't stop on purpose somewhere but I just I, I know when when I'm done and when I squat yes. like um, when I'm on a five plus set and I get 10 reps in uh, then there's something wrong that the weight needs to be heavier I, what, what, yeah. what is the point of squatting uh, um, 12 to, to 50 times 
on a five plus set. Uh, I don't I don't get that. I I rather stop at ten reps then, and then add more weight because that that's what's what's doing it for me and uh, this yeah. is what 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 I did for your program what I what I what I thought would be would be awesome or what would work for you because I know you you the the dub system works for you like doing the main lifts several times a week but yeah. also I think like the uh, static uh, five times five six times three four times six whatever uh, it's too yeah, it's it's not very flexible, and I think you can auto-regulate yourself pretty good if you do like five working sets, and then you say, okay, I got some left in the tank. I'll do like another Joker set for with with five kilos more, and if I get five reps in, I'll do another one. And uh, yeah, that's exactly how I how I figure how many Joker sets I should do if I feel good and if you're happy within reason, like not doing ten plus on an M rep, but like. Um, if I feel good and my form is still good, I'll continue. And yeah. if I just struggle with the last one with form and strength, or one of the two, I'll maybe, depending on how I feel, just stop with that joker tent. No, oh, who's there? Oh, it's late! <laughs> Shake that. <laughs> Watch the strong girls on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, now we just have to put the, f the f video on at the same time. Okay, like uh, on my camera or what? No, but uh, like we're gonna give commentary, ah, 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 no, I so we have to see the same thing. Okay, 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 okay. Now I understand. Okay, I'm at zero, zero, zero. And you count. So on three or three and then? Three, two, one, then. 